Welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. Well, here we are out at the site of my most recent thing I was doing with the Ender Quarry. And when I got back on here, I realized that I had left off of here for like almost 24 hours. Or a little over 24 hours. With uh, this thing wasn't running because the Tesseract was over there and the reason that is significant is because as you know the uh, ender quarry loads the chunk it's in and the chunk that it's mining and if I can keep from falling off of stuff long enough I'll turn on F9 and you see this spot right there where the th Tesseract was, is not within the chunk. You can see by the green border right there, it's not inside the chunk that the thing was keeping loaded. And so, when the thing ran out of its buffer energy, it stopped. So, I came back here, I moved the Tesseract over on this side, which is within the chunk that the, te the Ender Quarry keeps loaded for itself and it's been going and it's doing a pretty good job it is uh, what was that 26.45 percent completed and it would be a lot more completed had I not derped about where to place the tesseract all right uh, it's basically converting the whole thing it's gotten through where there's a few trees now and the trees have not the logs have not been converted to dirt they are surviving completely intact and this island, when the area is done, is going to largely look like that. All right, let me turn F7 off. And on another note, a slightly fun note, the uh, plasma cannon in the uh, Power Fist. I discovered that it's capable of rapid fire. All you got to do is just left click real quickly. Each blast is correspondingly a lot weaker because you're not going like this to charge it up all the way to a half creeper's worth of power. But. Rapid fire does just as much damage to the mobs. Apparently does not blast up the terrain, at least not from a distance. And is a lot more fun. Definitely a lot more fun. Yeah. I'm liking that. You know, rapid fire. It reminds me of the old... Uh, the way the bow was in, be in Minecraft Beta. You could sling those arrows just as fast as you could click. It's beautiful. And... Uh, the fact that you can do that with the plasma cannon is awesome. I like that. All right. Anyway, I'm going to head off this way back to the machine base, the new tower, etc., etc., and we're going to get with some stuff going on there. All right. We're just getting back here, and there's progress here. While there's still some stuff here and running, like for example, this isn't doing anything anymore and I just need to go ahead and pull this thing out of here it would be useful if I were to go ahead and hook up some ME cable so that the system was intact only without this part this is one of the last big things to take out of here. But I've got most of the stuff removed. All right, I'll get the rest of that later. All the stuff is out of here. And everything is out of here except the power stuff. And even there, the uh, power storage units from AE have been removed already. All this stuff has been taken out. And then down here... 
these steam dynamos are the only thing still in here along with their respective uh, aqueous accumulators and the power system there is still there everything else all the lasers and everything has all been stripped out i'll be setting that up somewhere else in the tower and i'll be pulling the power arrangement out of here soon leaving a tesseract or something like that to power this stuff and so little temporary mountain face home is done things have been progressing in here i've got a lot more automation set up over here i've even set up a place to put a second row of machines and gotten started on that second row i've got uh machines making charcoal and let's see that one is Oh, I was working on the graphite bar for the big reactors, and that's what that was for. Okay. And here we got uh, redstone melted down for things that need that. And I got tired of running out to fill empty vials, so I rigged this up to fill them for me when I was, uh, when anytime I'm making more of these uh, lily pads of fertility. Because I've got several more of these farms. I've got this one with the nether crop. And then the glowstone, and the certus quartz, and the essence, and the diamond. And down here is just a vanilla ish uh, cactus or sugarcane farm. Yes, that's it. Uh, lily pads of fertility, and uh, the harvester to pick it out. And then below that, we have redstone. And there's a funny story here. I actually ran completely, absolutely, totally out of redstone. Not one little bit of dust. And so I had to haul back to spawn area to my original branch mine there and mine up a couple of stacks of redstone dust. And that's when I put together the redstone seeds and got them going to produce the redstone essence that will let me make redstone and so on down here we have the creeper crops and i gotta tell you these creeper crops really are because look at these things they follow you no matter where you go they're looking at you <laughs> that's awful that is positively awful. No matter where you go, these things are turning to look at you. And with all that smoke coming off of them, it's like, my, that's a nice farm you've got there. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. <laughs> and down here is another one that I have set up, but I haven't put anything into it yet. And, oh, there's no elevator box down below there. But I've got places down here where I'm going to put up to three more of these going downward. And then I will start moving upwards. And this whole rack of these farms is powered by the output from one test rack. Coming from the solar setup in the other dimension. So we're doing pretty good there. Now. Uh... Did mention that I was doing this. Uh, I was working on making the uh, graphite bars that I'm going to need for big reactors because I do want to build the big reactor thing. And you know, I've seen the thing recently uh, between Hypno and Slip about uh, the big reactors. About and Slip comes along with his reactors bigger and putting out more power than than Hypno's, or maybe it's not bigger, but it's putting out more power. And so I figured I'd get into that. And uh, along the way, it occurred to me that I also wanted to get into doing something with rotary craft. Now, rotary craft, oh boy, that is one complicated thing. Let me tell you. Uh, okay, I don't have the book on me, unless it's in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, I can pick the right things up I will be doing so much better but look at this thing
This thing is... Ay, ay, ay. There is so much to it. I'm going to have to spend a bunch of time reading the wiki before I'm going to understand what to do with this thing. I mean, yes, this book has a lot of information in it and so on, and explanations of all the parts. That's great. They did a great job with that. Otherwise, nobody would ever be able to do anything with this thing. But I, for one, am going to spend a lot of time reading the wiki before I get doing very much. But there is a little bit I can do. And I figured this much out because uh, I went and built this machine, the blast furnace. Because one of the things you need a lot of in rotary craft is this HSLA steel. All right, now put the glass away, put some of this other crap away, and lava. We got 32 buckets of lava. Cool. And that's because I set this up. Uh, let's see. Not that one. That's just making silicon. All right, this one. When there is less than 16 buckets of lava in the system, emit a redstone signal. That causes nether rack to feed into here, and this thing will appropriately melt it up into lava. The output goes in here to this fluid transposer, which is also looking for 32 buckets of lava, or 16 buckets of lava, excuse me. And when its signal comes on, it pumps in buckets, which transpose lava into them, and then gets imported back into the system. So, no more shortage of lava. Now, I did find out this much about this thing. If I put lava down here, and I throw a block up here to put this against, drop a blast furnace there. The lava should be as a heat source for the blast furnace. Yes, it's heating up. So now we load up all this iron in here. And you put in sand, and you put in coal, and you put in gunpowder. And when it's hot enough, it starts making HSLA steel. Now there is one thing I wanted to try. And that is to see if it would work just as well with charcoal. Because frankly, I've got more of it. Charcoal, I've got 88,000. So I'm going to take a few minutes here. This thing has to heat up to 1,000 C before it's going to do anything. So I'm going to let it heat up and see if it will produce the HSLA steel with charcoal. Which essentially is the same thing as coal. But some mods do pick the nits between the differences between the two. So I'll be back. All right. It's approaching 600 degrees, which I found out from reading this, that 600 C is what it needs to start making this particular steel. And I've also noticed, okay, it's hot enough. And, hmm, I just noticed... When I was looking at it, the uh, whaler thing at the top said uh, that it was hot enough and an invalid or missing items. But you know something? HSLA steel is coming from charcoal. Good. I was hoping that the charcoal would work. But go ahead and put the coal away. Because charcoal is renewable. I can make more of that easily from my tree farm. This is why I want to have a million logs and a hundred thousand charcoal. Okay, so we've got HSLA steel in production. I have also found out from all reports, as far as I can tell, this thing cannot be automated. It has to be fed and drained manually. At least not that I have been able to find out. It can't be modified, mod automated or anything. And so, I will be making up a whole bunch of this HSLA steel to uh, work with. Because as far as I know, as from what I've seen so far just looking through this book, you see all these things in here. They're all made with this HSLA steel. 
lots and lots of it. So I figure it's going to be a good idea to go ahead and make up as much of the stuff as I can. And since I've got, let's see, iron, how much do I have? I've got 15,000 iron ingots. I think I can afford to make a lot of steel. All right. Now, let's see. As I was, as I mentioned, one of the things I was looking for was a snowball, and I picked up a blizz and a safari net. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use the thing right this minute, but I do want to. I'm going to put it up here. Uh, let's see. Grinders. The mob juice. Got uh, a tank and a fraction. I just want to hit more of those tanks, but I guess they're all occupied somewhere. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's another one that's full. Here's another partial. And here's 14 empties. Okay, that'll be more than enough. Okay, where to set this up? Uh, for the time being, I'm going to set it up here as sort of... No, it's going to need to be dark. So let's go down here. I'll set it up in here. I'll go ahead and build a floor out here, and uh, we'll get ready to set this thing up on this level. All right. It's been kind of a long day. Had a lot of tedious things to tediously do over and tediously over. Yes, you think maybe I said tediously enough times. Uh, well, let's see. I've been babysitting this, clearing it out every time I go by. This is the, I believe it's the third load of nine stacks of iron and a stack of coal. In all that time, I haven't had to replace the sand or the gunpowder, but I have had to replace the coal for every stack of, for every set of iron. So I'm coming up with plenty of HSLA steel. So I'll be able to get doing something with rotary craft soon. As soon as I get it figured out, that is. Good night, Charlie. Okay, now in this ME drive, I've got two 64K fluid storage. So we're set for liquid storage. And if I take the elevators down. We'll start down here. We've got power lines and ME cable going up to each grinder. And a uh, test rack here providing power for the whole thing. Now, in here, each grinder, we've got power going to it. There is a precision import bus with no specifiers, no filter, uh, set to move stack at a time. And an ME fluid bus to import any fluids such as the mob juice and so on. And uh, we've got an assortment of red alloy wire going around here providing power to these white lights. This is all very red power reminiscent and it lights this place up very nicely. I've got fans in here. They're currently turned off and they will blow anything this way. And uh, the grinders are here, and here, there, there, and there. That should, I think, be enough to see to it that anything in here gets blown that way and the grinders take care of it. I may need to put in some more fans. I don't know quite just yet, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Now, come up one more level. And uh, here we've got this dark glass that you can see through, but it doesn't let light in. So that I can observe what's going on. You can see it's actually quite bright in there. And switch here. That turns the fans on. And this one here operates the lights. So basically, now I've got the auto spawner in there. But I'm not using it just yet because 
I've got a couple of these that I want to use. So I'm going to put those in there, both of them. And then block this opening off. And uh, those will run for a while just simply so that the system can collect mob juice. We need the mob juice. Okay, let's get these things out. I do wish the things would identify which monster spawner they were. And I notice with interest that I get mining fatigue. All right, here's the second one. Let's back up. All right, now let's head up top side. All right. Start the fans. Turn the lights off. And we have mobs. And they're being taken care of. There is uh, a baby zombie that doesn't seem to be cooperating very well. Okay, this is not super duper fast, but it's working. And I realize it could make, be made a whole lot faster if I were to set, uh, for example, uh, Cursed Earth on the floor or something. And I may do that at some point. Uh, that would require getting the Division Sigil and uh, doing the Cursed Earth thing. But uh, that can happen. For right now, this thing is up and working. And yeah, I'm going to need more fans. Down there, blowing this way. Down here, blowing that way. Yeah. Definitely going to need more fans. But I'm not going to even care about that right this minute. What is that zombie carrying? It looks like there's an invisible mob there. Alright, turn the light on. I have to see this. That thing with the helmet on appears to be otherwise invisible. It's not showing up on the whale mod, and the rest of the mobs are. So weird. Very weird. The fans don't appear to be doing a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to have to get definitely more fans in there. But that's a relatively minor deal after finally getting this thing working. All right, let's head up topside. I do like those elevator blocks. All right. Okay. And here. We have 700 millibuckets of mob essence. It's a slow start, but it's a start. All right, so the thing works, and that's great. I just have to hang around and let it run. And uh, we'll collect all the mob juice that we need for causing the other things to spawn that we're going to want at some point. I have safari nets here with Blaze, Blizz, and Enderman, and so on. Now, over in this area, I'm going to want to set up some rotary craft stuff. Uh, at first, just making things to put them together and see what all they can do and you know, learn the mod. I have never used it at all. I know nothing about it. So, got to figure that out. And I'm thinking 
maybe over here, maybe back in that corner over there. Put in a floor and it will be big reactor time. I have an idea or two. I have been reading about big reactors and I've got an idea or two. I might just be able to come up with something cool. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to chill and uh, see to it, see about the uh, production of the mob juice. Hello. Somebody have an attitude problem? Hey guys. Having fun, are you? And of course, because those are natural spawners, I'm gonna have to hang around here and listen to the listen to the zombies to uh, get anything done. Okay, they've got power and so on, and they... Hmm. There's no upgrade slots on these things. I might need to go ahead and put some more in. I don't know. I definitely know I need to get more fans into this thing, but... After the long day I've had putting this setup up together, I'm not going to do it just now. In the meantime... I'm going to chill. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.